To help you spot key data faster, you can apply conditional formatting to your pivot table values to help those key pieces stand out. And when you add conditional formatting to a pivot table, you have options for what to apply the formatting rule to. So knowing which option to use and when is important. For example, you may want to limit your conditional formatting to specific cells. So let's say that you want to apply data bars to your sales results. You can highlight the values that you want to apply the formatting to, and then from your Home tab, go to Conditional Formatting and select the data bars that you'd like to use. And of course, this applies data bars to our sales values. But if I switch my data to 2018, our conditional formatting disappears. This is because we applied the formatting only to those values that we selected for 2017. So you can see this if I add 2017 back into our pivot table. This option is a good idea if you only want to add data bars to a specific filtered item. So in this case, 2017. Or if you want to use a different formatting rule for each year. And if you use this option, you'll also need to remember to update your rule if new data is added, like let's say for a new employee. And you can do this by going to the conditional formatting section and manage rules, select your rule, and then you can edit it from here. So you can also choose to apply the conditional formatting to all cells showing for a specific value calculated in your pivot table. In this case, we only have the one for sum of sales. And actually, let me get out of this. I want to delete this rule and filter for 2017 again. For this option, you don't need to worry about highlighting a certain selection. You just need to make sure that your active cell is somewhere in the values portion of your pivot table, so not on the year or the associate name. And then from here, you can go back to conditional formatting and select the rule that you want to use. So right now, we've only applied the conditional formatting to the one cell. But this little box here, click on this, it'll bring up the same options that we saw earlier in the Rule Manager. So let's select All Cells Showing Sum of Sales Dollar Values. This option is best if you're not displaying grand totals or subtotals because it includes them in calculating what to apply the conditional formatting to. So once we get rid of our grand totals, our data bars make more sense. Also, notice that if I add the 2018 data back in, those values are calculated into our conditional formatting. And if I were to add a new associate, their data will also be included in the conditional format once I refresh. If you want to be able to display your subtotals or grand totals and not have it affect the conditional formatting, you may want to try the third option. This option applies the formatting only to specific fields, and in doing so, it ignores the subtotals and grand totals in its formatting. So in this case, it's focusing on the values for the year and product in applying the formatting to the sum of sales values. You'll need to be careful, however, when deleting fields, because if you delete any of the fields used in the conditional format, your rule will be erased. For more tutorials like this, click on these links. Thanks.